ग्रेस बनवारी Anywhere else he has that. <coughs> today the today I wanted to speak about Jigoswami, but there are so many new persons; they will not understand. So what should I do? They will understand something. Hmm? They will understand something. Agyan tamira dharsa. Gyananjana shalakaya chapsurun militam jena तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः वंचा कल्पतरु भस्य कृपा सिंधु भयि वच पतितानम भावने भयो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमो महावदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नमने गोरक्षि गुरुवे गौर चंद्राय राधिकाय तदाय कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद भक्ताय नमो क्या कर रहा है जगह नहीं है यह अच्छा ठीक बस टी शर्ट या रन स्टेट आप शिला जी गोस्वामी So I wanted to tell about him something, but I am saying that it is a very high class of topic. So <clears throat> I will have to come down so much. From that subject, <coughs> there is so much place. You can come here and they can. So much place there. I wanted to speak about Jiva Swami, no? but the subject is so hard, very deep, and I am saying that there are so many new persons. What should I do? 
on general the topic of Jiva Goswami is so high yeah. hmm. Siddhant yeah. it will be better for you for your Audience. Krishna consciousness mm-hmm. but it will be very high subject for them to understand yes. what should I do yeah. I should change the subject mm-hmm. I, I think both Something, something, something. We can can also ask the new audience. No, nothing. (laughs) No, if they want to hear something, really. Um. Uh, Otherwise, Prabhu can give a little introduction. I'm going to tell about Jiva Goswami, something, and after that I will tell you something. So yesterday I was telling about glories of Srila Jiva Goswami. He was one of the six Goswamis. He has written some books. Among them, yesterday Navin Krishna and Prem Prajan told, he has written Tattva Sandarbha. That in this world, we trust anyone. So in transcendental world, whom we should trust? Because we cannot see that transcendental world by eyes. We cannot touch by or any senses. So how we can have a idea and an idea of transcendental world? Or who is the Supreme Personality of Godhead? How can we decide? Also, we are seeing this body, but actually we are not seeing the soul of... Oh, you can come here. You can come. You can come. Actually, I will throw aside. You can sit there. So, how can we trust? Trust that there is a God from whom this creation has come and how He is controlling the whole world. We cannot control the world. We cannot see our Atma. Even God is here, everywhere, but we are not seeing Him. So, Ji Goswami has told that our all senses are imperfect, 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 not perfect. So, anything we are seeing or we are Anubhav kar rahe hai, realizing anything by other senses. We cannot believe on that. Our eyes cannot see eyes. 
own eyes. Hmm? Our eyes cannot see what is inside our body. Our eyes cannot see what is shown here. Hmm? So these are limited. They have power but limited. So we cannot trust on these things. Especially for transcendental things. We see that so many persons are taking birth daily and daily lakhs of thousands of persons are dying. <coughs> Who is controlling? Waves are coming on time. Sun is rising on just time. New day coming regularly at his time. So everything is controlled, and we cannot control, then who is controlling all this? So God is called creator, like G, generator, generator O, operator. operator, and D, destructor of this world. But we are not seeing. So what is the proof that God is, there is a God? There are so many souls. What is the proof? So these senses cannot do anything about transcendental things. Our seeing, our touching, or all senses are defective. So Jiva Goswami is telling that only transcendental worlds, they are to be trusted. They can show a real path. What they will tell, it will be true. And what is that transcendental words? Like Vedas, Upanishadas, and especially Srimad Bhagavatam. Transcendental knowledge is there. So we must trust Vedas, the words of Vedas. If a man is telling that we can trust anything which we can see, we cannot believe anything which we cannot see. But there are so many things that you are trusting. How my Guruji was going with me in a train, an officer, a railway officer came and told that, do you believe in God? Our Guru Maharaj told, yes. How? I don't believe in a God because I don't see. <clears throat> so I can trust any, anything which our eyes can see. Guru Maharaj at once replied that, no, this is not thing. You believe so many things that you have not seen. Because how? Can you say who is your father? That person told, officer, yes, my father is, my, his name is that, this. He told the name of his father. Or Guruji told that, how do you know that he is your father? Any proof? Then he began to see here and there. He has no proof. At that time when her father and mother were meeting, at that time he had not taken birth. So he 
had not seen. But yet his mother is telling that, oh, he is your father. So, on this proof, we can tell that he is my father. But if mother tells lie, but we trust in mother that she will not tell lie. In this way, the words of Vedas, Srimad Bhagavatam, they are most trustful than mother and father or anything. Mother can tell lie, but this transcendental world cannot tell lie. So we can trust on the words of Veda. <coughs> so everything has been told in Veda, especially in Srimad Bhagavatam. So it is most supreme evidence. Sometimes if which eyes are seen and we are expectating what? But if it is uske anugat hai ya uske following according to Vedas and they follow Vedas words then they may be some trustful. Other is cannot trust. From a very far place, we can say, oh, our father is coming. But when he will come nearer, oh, he is not father, oh, he is some other person. So, these are not evidence. Evidence is Srimad Bhagavatam and Veda Upanishad. Then he told, who is God? He told that Krishna is supreme personality of Godhead. Why? Somewhere it is told that God has no shape, no attribute, no not any quality. There is no quality in that. But these are telling, he has shape. He has so many qualities. If God has no shape, then from where this whole world came? So many shape. From nothing, anything or something cannot come. So God must have some shape. And that shape is so beautiful, much more beautiful. There is none beautiful like Him. And Krishna has all kinds of good qualities. He is so much merciful. If God is not merciful, then how He can know our difficulties, sorrows, sufferings? And how He can help us? So He must have some say. <coughs> And these qualities, if God is not so, He is embodiment of love and affection. If He is not so, then what is the use of God if He cannot help us, if He cannot love us, if He cannot help us in our miseries, then what is the use of God then? Hmm? Nothing. If God can generate and He can regulate all these things and in a moment He can destroy the whole world and in a second He can create lakhs and lakhs worlds lakhs and sun, sun and moons, then he is so powerful. So God must be so powerful that we cannot do. We are so. Not this body you should know. 
Jee Goswami is telling. We are actually not this body. We are captured in a jail life. This is like jail or cage. Though you don't want to be old, though you don't want to be to die, but you are bound to be old. If you are not a dying in young age, then you must be old. Your hairs will be white, or the eyesight. sight will eyesight will be so weak. weak. And one day a day will come that you cannot walk, walk without any stick. And one day you will have to give up this body. <clears throat> so there is a soul here who never takes birth, who n- never dies. There is no change of the modes. He never becomes child, young, or old, or anything. And controller of the whole world, jivas. Souls is God. He never dies. He never changes his positions. He is almighty. He knows past, future and present, present everything. Omnipotent. Omniscient. Omniscient he is. He can do anything he likes. And he is also so much merciful, causeless merciful he is. What is G? G Goswami is telling that that God is Sarva Shakti Man, omnipotent, all kinds of powers are invested in him, always. When God, with his Sarup Shakti, with Sarup Shakti, Sarup Shakti means uh, the power always lives in him, within him. And by the, that Sarup Shakti, that power, he can create lakhs and lakhs world. He can play everywhere. No? He can do anything. That Sarva Shakti is called Antaranga Shakti or Sarva Shakti. No? By this Shakti, when he is with Sarva Shakti and with his own qualities, no? and then if there is some Expansion. Uh, expansion. Expansion. Expansion or power. It is called incarnation. Shansa. 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 Shansa means? So, on so, Like Franz? Plenary expansion. Like Ram. Balram. Nishingh and all others. And when this Brahma, that is this God, <coughs> only his with his Tatasa Shakti or Jiva Shakti, Tatasa Shakti or Jiva Shakti means marginal potency, marginal potency. Only mm-hmm. with that, the part of that Brahma is called. Vivinam Jeev or soul. This soul within us. There are part and parcel of that God. But now we are forgetting him. And that is why his Maya. His one kind of power, potency, has 
taken us to this world and covered has covered our so that soul pure soul and now we have forgotten who am i we who are you? who is god and thus we are in the chain of endless chain of birth death sorrow sufferings in this world any jeev is not happy because he has forgotten that god and not serving not wanting his mercy he don't come out of this maya illusory that is why he is always suffer in this world you can scrutinize and see in any presidents and chief ministers or kings emperors all are suffering any man is not happy if you are some happy in young age but there are so many problems one day we'll have to give up this body surely we cannot say that a god is true or not but very easily we can say that death of anyone is true anyone cannot deny even a person who does don't believe in god but he is bound to tell that is true. that death is true sure and in this world suffering is or true anyone can deny this but they don't know why we are suffering like animals always quarreling quarreling always what ahar nidra bhay mein tu na all this they are important they think that we will be happy by this but we cannot be happy so ji goshami is telling <coughs> that all the souls which were seen in different species 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 like human being demi gods animals animals Wolves. birds <coughs> water fishes fishes creepers all these things also trees creeper those who have sense and they feel sorrows and happiness all their souls some hot covered in so many kinds of species but all are like souls like we are and among all these species species human body is some a special qualities here that we can call you you can come you can hear all and you can understand these things you can see your futures animals they don't see their future very little some monkeys and some others donkeys cows they can see their future for very near our future not more because you can see that if there are so many cows or any animal goat goats and sheep and there are so many 
and if they are taken to slaughter house and they are very near to die and if you give some grasses they will quarrel among them that I want to take, I will take, I will take. They will quarrel themselves. But not they are seeming, seeing that oh, so many has gone to slaughter and they have been slaughtered and now we will go. They cannot. But human body can think about this. More future. That is why they are singing their futures and they are making so many bombs that we will destroy others and control all, and then we will be happy. And some are saying that, oh, by doing so, we will not be happy. How you can, can be happy? If we will realize what is so. From where we have come? When day after death, where to go? Why a person takes birth in the house of Prime Minister of Australia like a daughter or son. Why? And in the same moment another person is taking birth in a very poor family. Why? Why one becomes lame and one becomes so beautiful? Why? Why a man, man, being very pure, he came by birth in poor family, but he became prime minister or president? Why? A wise man, intelligent man can realize these things. So, human, this shape is <coughs> most uh, supreme among all these species. <coughs> we can think. And in this shape, this body, if we are not thinking about this, why the suffering is coming? Why we are going to die? Who am I? Who is God? He is not thinking like this and not hearing. He is also too legged, too late, too late animal. animal. <clears throat> there is no difference between animal and human person. But if anyone has this, that from where we have come, in this body, who am I? You know also this, Goswami has told, all the human persons, all the beings, trees, creepers, animals, all have some sense of gratification. Also there is love and affection in them. If there is a dog, you will tell, oh, come on, come on, come on, like this, and you should love him. He will come doing his thing like that. Even tigers, <clears throat> and lions come, can come, and they will not be ferocious. So everywhere there is love and affection in all trees even. Also they have senses. So we know that our religion is love and affection. So God is the embodiment of love and affection. He is so merciful. He is, has all kinds of powers. We are part and parcel. So if you are going to realize this fact, and if this realization will come, surely you will be out of the chain of birth and sorrow, suffering. This is called Bhakti Yoga. If we will practice on this, 
anyhow to maintaining our family or life and this maintenance will come automatically from previous births yes. <coughs> impression you can test it that if seven days or eight days or one month you are not doing anything sitting in your room and chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 or you will say automatically everything is coming out up to that that uh, your death not does not comes hundred years all will come so we should trust in these things we should try in this birth human shape we should try to know who am i so if how we can know if in this world there is some there are some persons who knows these things they are qualified they have a realization of soul and god they have some link with god by practices they can so that path that you can also have a realization and he is called acharya or guru holy master so if we can go to them they never fall never they never fall so we should try to go to them and associate with them <coughs> jeevu sami tells आदौ श्रद्धा तथा साधु संग अथा भजन क्रिया तथो अनथम निवृत्ति तथो निष्ठा तथो निष्ठा रुचि आशक्ति एंड देन सो अप टू दिस इन ह्यूमन बॉडी वी कैन डू व्हाट इज श्रद्धा दैट देयर इज अ गॉड we are part and parcel of god hmm? we must serve the supreme personality of god this desire is called sadha and when this sadha will come how it will come by the association any pure devotee hmm? it may come but if this desire to serve godhead has come but after that we have no association qualified then this desire desire will dry up dry up and that is going on now it is lacking of good association association so many devotees they had uh, the shraddha after that they had also bhajan kriya they were initiated even and they began to do bhajan sadhana and but there was no good association and their this desire of serving krishna shraddha began to dry and dry so some person do they were coming in the madhyam adhikar and they take a renounce order even brahmachari but from there they began to fall so like a tree or creeper if it is it has come his sprouts from seed and some leaves 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 have come and it has grown up to some extent 
But if there is no water, what will be? They will die. So we should try always to be in good association. Any society can not give this, but the societies, if there are some good preachers, like Swamiji came, like our Gurudev came, Srila Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati came. We can be associated with them. And if they are gone, the line is there, but followers are not true, they are hankering after wealth, after three W's, wealth, women and wine, then they will fall down surely. So we should try to know all these things and try to practice bhakti yoga gradually. If you are not practicing knowing bhakti yoga, then we are like animals. And animals not like hog, pigs and asses. So now you see that whole world, they are quieting themselves like animals. And one can fight with the males. Nails and teeth. Not those white white teeth. And these animals two legged legged le what they are doing? And making so much big, big, atom powerful atom bomb, nitrogen bomb. Nitrogen. And they are destroying lives and lives of humans and lives. So they are more <coughs> nistful, cruel hearted and everything, more than animals. They cannot control their senses, but they want to control the whole world. So, Anyhow, maintaining our life, we should try to follow all these doctrines and be happy forever. We should try for this. One kirtan, little Krishna Das, Mahamantra. <coughs> Jai Goswami has also told that there are three things. One transcendental world. And the, there are so many jivas, many souls. And also this world. Lakhs and lakhs world. Not only this world. Lakhs and lakhs world. In transcendental world, everything is transcendental. No birth, death, sorrow, suffering is there. There are also two kinds of jivas, souls. Those who are liberated, they serve God there. In Vaikuntha, they serve. In transcendental world. All are happy. And those who are jiva souls who are forgetting. They are called conditioned souls. We are all conditions. And our soul is covered 
without worldly elements like earth, water, fire, ether, air, air. Our body consists of these five elements. When anyone dies, by burning or giving in grave, five animals meet in their original forms. But the soul never dies or never takes birth. These souls, in some case, they are different and in some case, in different <coughs> from God. As God has a beautiful body, shape, so many powers, and He tastes so many good qualities, souls have also a very beautiful body, very beautiful body and so many qualities. But the difference between God and souls are what? God is infinite. God is full. Infinite. 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 And Jeev is infinitesimal. And Jeev souls are infinitesimal. Infinitesimal. Jeev cannot create, souls cannot create world. They cannot control but God can control everything and He is the master of Maya. Jeev has so many changes, but Supreme God or any God, any incarnation of God, they are out of Maya. They can control Maya. They cannot come in the control of Maya, illusory Maya. They cannot be unhappy. But Jeev, in some cases, when they will forget some personality of Godhead, and they will misuse their independence. independence, they will come to this world. Thinking that I am this body, <coughs> I am doer of all things. I am controller. I am tester. They will think. But this is the symptom of illusion. Uh, condition so. So we are conditioned. And this world <coughs> made of five animals. There are so many also elements. But Elements, so many. But these are prominent. Earth, water, fire, air, fire, fire ether, and ether. There are also so many things. So, these all souls has come out from <coughs> Supreme Personality of Godhead. And this world has also come from the power of Supreme Personality, Krishna. So there are two kinds of power. One is called Sur Shakti or Yoga Maya, and now that is called Mahamaya. Like Durga, Kali and all others. They can create this world, but they cannot create souls. So, souls are uh, eternal. eternal. Uh, they, they are from the same time from when God is there. And God is eternal. So, jivas are eternal. But when they forget Supreme Personality of Godhead, and they want their own happiness. And they think that I can do this, that. 
They don't uh, shikar karma. Admit. Admit God or anything. <coughs> then Maya takes them and covers this thing. So there is some, in cases, there is some difference and in some cases non-difference, non-difference also. And this world has come out from his illusory maya. So there is also some difference and non-difference from the world. Because shakti, shakti, mato, rabheda. There is no difference between potent and potency. Potent and potency. So this is called achinta bheda bhed. Ji Goswami has, he has described, explained these things very well. Any other acharya like Ramanuja Madhva, they cannot give this explanation. How he received this, how he realized these things? By the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is himself Krishna, Supreme Personality of Godhead. But he came in the shape of a guru in this world. So he told it to uh, Sarvam Bhattacharya, and thus from Sarvam Bhattacharya, Jiva Goswami knew all these things. And from various shastra, he compiled this Satsandar, and in this book he has written everything. But we cannot know by reading books. We'll have to hear all these things. He has one also told that by knowledge, worldly knowledge, or any knowledge, by yogs, ashtanga yoga, by any authorities, by donation, we, we cannot know Supreme Personality of Godhead, or we cannot realize our Atma also. So, only by the practice of pure bhakti yoga, we can know these things. You can also know this thing, you should understand about God and these jivas, that if God has no shape, this world cannot come, souls cannot come. Also in the Bible it has been told, not only in Indian scriptures, it has told in Bible that God created man after his own image. So if God has no shape, how he can create human bodies? So God has, if God has created like him, then it is written in Bible. So we should try to follow this. Not only in Indian Vedic culture, uh, scripts, scriptures and uh, Bible, also in Quran Sharif, in Muslims, they trust in Quran. It has also been written that Khoda Nalaha Inna Laha Khalaka Men Surathi. That is, Khoda has created these human bodies like his seed. So if it is not so, why it has been written in Quran? <coughs> So God has a shape. He is so merciful. So we should try to trust it. Now he is telling that only by practicing bhakti yoga. What is bhakti yoga? We can be attached with God by bhakti yoga, not by gyan, by knowledge. You can understand by an example that if I am telling that by water, taking water, drinking water, 
اور پیاس چلی جائے وی کین فینچ اور تھرسٹ بٹ اف وی آر ناٹ ٹیکنگ واٹر بائی دس نالج اور تھرسٹ ول نٹ گو وی شوڈ ٹیک اے گلاس آف واٹر اینڈ دین اٹ اٹ مے گو یو آر ویری ہنگری یو وانٹ سم فوڈ اسٹاف آئی ٹول دیٹ بائی ٹیکنگ چپاتی اور بائی ٹیکنگ رائس ہلوا رائس اور بریڈ بریڈ اینڈ بٹر اینڈ سم سویٹس اور یور ہنگر ویل بی گو اے آئی ایم ٹیلنگ یو بٹ دس نالج ول نٹ گیو یو اینی تھنگ فوڈ اسٹاپ سو نالج کین نٹ ڈو اینی تھنگ بٹ بھکتی از لائک اے پریکٹیکل پریکٹیکل کریا کریا مینس ایکٹیویٹیز بائی دیس وی کین What is bhakti? First it, has, it is called sadhana bhakti. Then bhav bhakti. And then when it becomes purest in his own form, concentrational form, it is called prema bhakti. We have all in us some affection and love. If any man, a very beautiful girl and beautiful young men see each other. They like to love each other. And after that, they are binded by marriage. But after some marriage, if they are quarreling for some themselves, then again divorce comes and we try to fulfill this by another wife or by another husband. If we are not happy in our household or life, we may have a dog. We can trust dogs. Wives can divorce, but dog cannot divorce. <laughs> so we can trust in dogs. But after some days, you can see that dog is dead. And what? So anything in this world, there is nothing that we can believe that he is, we can love perpetually. Only the object of love is God. We are only ashray. Ashray means? Subject. Subject of. Subject means ashray or more? No, the abode, abode of. of. Abode of that love. But now our love and affection is not pure. <clears throat> It is impure and selfish. We love our <coughs> very beautiful wife If she is serving and she is obeying, but always quarreling, and she is selfing, his bank account is <coughs> with her name, and he is also loving another person, then we will be upset. <coughs> so nowadays in this body, our love and affection is not joke. I am malgabated with selfishness and so many things. But by practice, by chanting the name of Godhead, gradually hearing and coming in the association of realized Vaishnava, those who know that what is this world, no attachment with this world, only anyhow maintaining their life, always chanting, remembering God, eh? meditating, <clears throat> they are really happy. If we will associate with them, they will tell some process of Bhakti Yoga, how you can develop your 
this love and affection to God hate. So when we are exercising or we are eh, practicing bhakti yoga, then it is called sadhan. And when some transcendental love and affection comes, but in a very crude form. Crude form? Okay. Not so much covered with that mind, intelligence, sattva and all other things. Then it is called bhav bhakti. In bhav bhakti a soul can realize what is Krishna Prem, how we can serve Him. And after some time practicing, practicing, Suddha Satta Bhakti will come in our heart. And then Prem will be there. So Prem in general is one, but it is divided in five sections. What are they? Shanta, Dasya, Shakha, Vatsalya and Madhu. What is Shanta? The love and affection, uh, it has no speciality. Oh, God is great. Eh? great. 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 And we are only part and person. We should do pranam to Him. He is so merciful. Oh, God, give me bread and butter. Bread and butter. Oh, give me bliss. Happiness. Give me salvation. All this doing. Then it is called like Santaras. But no worldly attachment at that time. Then it will be Santaras. Either if worldly desires are there, or then there is not Santaras. After liberation, Santaras may come. Like Samakshanandam Sanatam. No attach, worldly attachment. Pure soul. But he had no special kind of love and affection to God. Then it is called Shanta Rasha. Shanta love and affection. After this, anyone liberated, having a very beautiful say and serving God like his master that you are my master. You are the main root of whole universe, creation, destruction, everything. So praying like Him and serving Him like Hanuman. This is called Dasya Prem. Dasya Prem, English word? Servitor mood. Servitor mood. Servitor Shiva or Servitor. We can serve God like this. That you are all my master. And after this, like friend, God is our friend. If you will think like that, he will be friend. And he can come and we can serve him like friend. The two kinds of friends. Like the f friends in Ajodhya, that they have friendship, but some fear there that he is more superior than me. Gaurav, like Sugriva Bali and uh, Sugriva and others. Lakshman, Sita, all. All were in this group. And in Braja, there are another kinds of friends, very bosom friends, like they are friends, always loving each other. They can sleep on a cot. They can eat, eat and give to Krishna. And they and Krishna also can eat and give them. Like friends, God will come. 
This is very sweet thing. And after that anyone can see that Krishna is my son, God is my son. This love and affection is more superior than both what I told. But you should not, you cannot think hmm, that Krishna is my father, then it will be good. Hmm? Not bhakti. Because anyone can serve God if he thinks that he is my son. But if he thinks that he is my father, then father always serves son, son never his father. Hmm? Always son is son. So how he can? From birth, how can he serve his father? Hmm? So father will take that son in his lap. He can kiss, he can embrace, he can give sweet things, so he can serve father. Hmm? Until he will be old, but he will serve his son. So we should not think that Krishna, Supreme Personality of God is, is my father. Oh, Father, give me. This is not Bhakti. Hmm? Then it will be opposite. Hmm? If Godhead is our father, then he will have to serve us. Oh, Father, give this, give this, give this, supply this, supply this. Oh, give me water, give me bread, bread butter, so many things. But if we think that God is our son, then we will we can serve God. So this mood is called Basal Vibhav, fatherhood or motherhood, and by this we can serve. This is more sweet than friend. And after this one is that is called Madhurras. Madhur is divided into two. Those who are, those ladies who are married with any husband by Vedic months or in court or anywhere. I don't know how, how here court. in Australia they are tightened in marriage. How? Legal. Legal. Legal marriage. Legal marriage. So this is called Shwakiya Bhav. Like Rukmani, Shatta Bhama. And other is only depending on love and affection. No, there is no cause of why we are loving Krishna in that way. Whether there is marriage or not marriage, like gopis. And this is called Upapati Bhav. There was so much difference of opinion between our uh, Acharjas, Ramanuj, Madhva, Vishnu Swami, Nimbadit, Pallavasya, they don't accept the love of Braja Prem of gopis. They only accept what? Rukmini Shatvama, those who are married with Krishna. Swaki Yubhav. But in Braj, all the gopis, they are not married to Krishna, <coughs> thinking that Krishna is our beloved. From beginning, from birth to end, always they think that Krishna is my beloved. From upside it is in that they are married to others, but always loving Krishna in supreme stage. Supreme stage. stage. Hmm? This is called Upapati Bhav. Vani Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Madhavendra Puri, Ishwar Puri Bhav, and then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They brought this thing from Golok Vrindavan this Upapati Bhav. Other cannot accept. So, Atta Jeeva Goswami, Jeeva Goswami in his time, 
there were two kinds of his followers. No? Those who wanted to follow <coughs> this beloved mode, that God is our beloved, they were in one section. And they do, those, oh, married life is okay. Krishna being supreme personality of Godhead, how he will cross the limit of Shastra? So I cannot do like that. So there were two kinds of his disciples. So for two he has written two kinds of literatures. Those who were high class of Vaishnava, following the Raganuga, Bhakti, for which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had, Krishna has come in the shape of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, taking the beauty and inner modes, intrinsic mode of Srimati Radhika. And he had preached in this world through Kirtan, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Krishna. So, Ataji Goswami, there was some dispute among his disciples <coughs> that Swakiya is okay, Parkiya is not okay. Or Swakiya is not okay, Parkiya is okay. That difference. <coughs> but really there was no difference. Hmm? Ji Goswami has told Parkiya with the angle of that tattva. By tattva, all has come from Krishna. So there is none who is Krishna. All are the manifestations of his, his Sarup Shakti, Srimati Radhika and all gopis. They are not Different. <laughs> Different form, Sarup Shakti, Radha. So there is no Swakiya and Parakiya. All are Swakiya. And Vishwanath Chagarti Thakur, Rupur Raghunath Goswami, they have admitted Parakiya bhav by Leela Rash. Leela Rash means? Pastor. Rasha Tattva. From the Lalo point of Consideration of transcendental mellows. Mellows. So both are right. Jiva Goswami has accepted it from Srimad Bhagavatam. That Rupa Goswami has told. Pati Sutan Vaya Bhadri Brandama Pati Pilangati Ant Achutagata. Also, here, Napareham Niravadya Sanjuja in this slope. And so many slokas. Everywhere in Srimad Bhagavat, Parkiya is very <coughs> distinct and prominent. So in Golok Vrindavan, it must be Parkiya. If there is no Parkiya, how it can come in this Prakat Lila, in Braja? So both are same. Well, some Difference of opinion by their thinking. Really no difference. So there are so many things to explain. But now it is seven and a half. I think we should adopt Bhakti Yoga. Bhakti Yoga is very easy. You can chant God's name in day in night, whether you are Hindu, Muslim, Christian, anything, if there are animals, we can chant loudly, they can hear and they can be liberated. <coughs> if you are poor, we can take Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna name. If you are so rich, we can take it. Without taking bath, after taking bath, after taking meal, without meal, in day, night, sitting on the cot, 
on bed, in night and day, any time, in any condition, we can chant. <coughs> there is no need of wealth or anything. We can take it. And what is that? It is the abstract. It is the essence, essence of whole epics. Hmm? So we should try to do it. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare. I think there is only uh, word, this, no division. We have made division. Uh, it is India, it is Australia. America, it is Australia, we have done the passport, visa and so many things. God has not. God is one without second. And souls are like this. So God is one. We can chant Him, we can pray Him, He should be merciful to us. And this process of chanting name is supreme kind of process. So we should do like this. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Oh, no.